In this video, we'll learn how to compute the limits of a function using numerical methods. A problem might look something like this. Compute the limit as x goes to 3 of this complicated looking function. Remember that what the limit means is that what we're looking for is what happens to that expression as x gets closer to 3. Well, there's nothing closer to 3 than 3, so what we might think to do is just plug in 3 and see what happens. Unfortunately, for this function, when we plug in 3, we get 0 divided by 0, which is undefined. So this doesn't give us any information about what we're asking for. It doesn't tell us what happens as x gets closer to 3. So the best that we're going to be able to do is to try to plug in a bunch of different x values that are closer and closer and closer to 3 and try to see what happens to the y values. The x values we try might look something like this. In this first table, we're looking at x values that are closer to 3 from below 3. And in this second table, we're looking at x values that are getting closer to 3 from above 3. Now this will be a little tedious, but what we're going to do is take all of these x values and plug them into this expression and see what kind of y values we get. I've saved you the trouble by doing it for you, but you should check at least a few of these on your calculator to make sure that you're getting the same answers that I am. What you should notice is that these y values here are getting closer and closer and closer to 0.25. And these y values here are also getting closer and closer to 0.25. So from all of this, we would conclude that the value of our limit is 